Let's see what will be your love story two months from now or less. For this reading, we have three pals available. We have pal number one, pal number two, and pal number three. So take your time, you can meditate on the cards, and then when you're ready, you can find the timestamps on the video directly or down below in the description. By the way, I will introduce something new today. Everybody gifting super thanks on this video. The highest gift is going to be pinned in the comment down below. And of course, every gifters, I'll message you back and thank you back as well. Okay, so let's begin. So group number one, let's start and see these two cards for you. So we have the Knight of Cups and we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this is pretty good because this is setting the mood, telling you somebody is stepping forward. Somebody is ready to be with you right now and they see your value. They see that you're the golden treasure they were always looking for. So with the Knight, expect it to be quick, expect it to be soon. Honestly, I'm not seeing something stopping them. I just see that they are going to play safe in that relationship and connect with you step by step. But I see somebody who is ready to give their best to you and start building a loving relationship with you. This is why you can see the cup is overflowing. Like I'm ready to come to you, my queen. I know who you are and I will actually make sure that you know your value. You know how precious you are to me. So this person is showing up. This person is not playing distant. This is not someone who is in and out. This is not someone who is not even responding to you. No, this person is invested and they want you to know I choose you and I want to be building a loving relationship with you. So the Knight of Cups is seen as the Knight in of shining army i'm actually thinking of the disney movie i watched yesterday which is hercules and this is truly the vibe you know you are this damsel in distress and or maybe not in distress but i'm just seeing this kind of thing and they see okay that person is special that person is somebody i really see a future with and it's time for me to make a move because i might lose this person which is a person of value so many people want to be with you and they know that, so they're not waiting. Like when they have a connection with you or if they just feel something with you, they will express their feelings, that's for sure. As for the queen, the queen to me is representative of your value and what you can give in a loving relationship. So maybe that's a sign for you to continue to work on yourself and become the queen or the king in order for people to see Wow, that's the person I want to be with. So let's continue. And because we have a bed scene, I can get that this person might fantasize about you already and just want to, you know, spend time with you intimately as well. So let's see these two cards. You're all mine. I told you, they want you. They want to be with you and they will make sure that you know that. <laughs> so you are all mine. And here we have soul meeting. Maybe that's why the bed appeared, because the soul meeting can be done in dreams. If you've been meeting somebody recently in dream, in dream state, this could be that they are visiting you to make sure that you are seeing them everywhere. So you get the sign that they are wanting to be with you and they are invested in this future relationship. And perhaps you guys as souls know each other. Alright, so if you felt guided towards a specific person or if in the next few weeks or months you feel guided towards somebody specific and you see them everywhere, this is gonna be your sign, okay? This is gonna be the universe telling you that's the one and prioritize this person. But they do want to be building something with you, that's for sure. And they might appear in your dreams, in your meditations or just obsess your mind because they're really good at actually connecting with you spiritually and their souls are just bombarding you with signs all the time. So let's see more couple cards. We have reunion. I Okay, maybe. <laughs> well, look at this. We have soulmates. So this is totally the vibe. And marriage. Okay, so this is the future for the two of you. Perhaps this is what we saw. We, I mean, you are all mine. So they possibly want to indeed get married to you. I'll take it. 
All right, so you guys are reuniting, meaning you possibly know this person on a soul level because you are soulmates or maybe another label, but your souls know each other. And there is this desire to reunite, this craving to be with this soul again in this lifetime. And perhaps you felt I was called to be with somebody specific and special to me. And I want only to marry someone I truly, solely connect to. Because other connections or people, you might just not really vibe with them. Or you might feel there's a spark missing. There's something missing and I'm not really feeling the connection. But with this one, you're just going to run in their arms. You're just going to feel connected. And that's because you are. <laughs> and you see a future with them. So when meeting this person or if you have a crush on somebody, ask yourself, do I see myself marrying this person? Do I solely connect with this person? Am I desiring of always wanting more time, more fun with this person? Because that's going to be the message here letting you know that's the one and if you don't feel these things then this might just be some distraction and then the one will step in that is beautiful i mean can you see the result of this like you've been waiting possibly to find someone of value to find someone who is ready to give and pour love onto your heart and you're finding that and we can see angels here on the bed so perhaps this is a sign that your angels, your guides are stepping forward and showing you the way to be with somebody that is indeed special for you. Can you see that? So you're surrounded by angels and possibly this is a sign that you're protected, you're safe and you're always going to make the right judgment when people step forward because you know who is actually valuable and who is just not worth the investment. And even the pentacles energy is like, you know, investment um, of, and of course it's mostly about money, like who is valuable to you, but that, I mean, what's valuable to you, but here's who is valuable to you. I'm happy to have you in my life and you're going to be okay, I promise. So there will be supportive, they will be present for you. And when you have days where you feel down, where you feel, you know, just not good, they will tell you it's going to be okay i'm here for you i promise you got this you're strong see all your values see your strength because i see them and i'm happy to have you in my life so gratefulness and i'm sure you will feel the same way you'll feel wow this person is so special and i have the opportunity to be with them that's a gift <laughs> so these were the messages let's continue with oracle cards and see anything about your future together this love story for the timing i'm getting summer and autumn so far this could be a water sign or earth sign we're gonna see more seasons because i have the grid ready for the next techniques open your wings so this is asking you to be open for that relationship to be open to date open to get out of your house as well because you can see she is outside embracing the wind with the birds flying on top of her so it's that sense of freedom i'm ready to give myself a chance to free myself from any type of limitation so i can find the one but yes, the seasons. So I said um, autumn and summer. So they could be seasons when you guys will be together or when meeting each other. Let's see. I think of spring too with the flowers here. Oh, so you're attracting someone who is nurturing. And I could get that. You know, I'm happy to have you in my life. They want to be protecting you. They want to provide. So they will be nurturing. Like a mom, like a dad, protecting you, giving to you. If you want to have kids, this could be a sign as well with the, um, the kid here. So they might nurture and be the best mom, the best dad ever. And that could come after this marriage or maybe before, I don't know. But this could be part of the picture that you want for the future. So let's see messages, what they want to say to you. 
let's live happily <laughs> honestly it really feels like this happy ending in disney movies you know you meet each other and you build something together you marry each other you have kids you live happily ever after so it's totally the vibe <laughs> totally what you deserve as well so let's live happily let's live a very happy loving relationship together we have a clock as well peering here so maybe that's a sign that Yes, your person will come, but when the time will be right for the two of you to be together. So don't rush it, take your time, and you will see if this is the right person, if this is the one you want to invest, you know, your love into. And we have Christmas with the Christmas tree. So it could be a significant season, or maybe a season, a time you guys like. And do you remember when we first met? <laughs> so meeting, first met, I don't know, but I feel the meeting might have been happening for some of you, or well, this is about to. And you will always remember how you guys have been meeting or how you guys, you know, the first date, for example, this will be quite symbolic and special. And you might be nostalgic beings or just very reminiscent of what you guys shared in the past so do you remember when we first met or maybe that's a sign here like do you remember us meeting because that was possibly divinely guided in my opinion so let's continue with the other techniques i'm gonna start with the grade so we can see the season or there is a yak sign so let's get hits pisces season is crazy <laughs> and this is when i'm recording so i don't know but i feel this could be the message so pisces Aries, and i see scorpio especially here so let's get now letters for you guys and in the letters you can still see more seasons or more signs depends what's coming out We have Aries again, okay. Oh, and actually Aries season is the next one, when I'm recording at least, but this is a timeless reading, of course. Still, I think it could be like around the corner. I heard love for this one. I would, yes, and we can see yes, indeed. <laughs> so to kiss, wish, follow, following. So maybe you guys are following each other. We have team. And uh, let's see if we can see anything else. Perhaps you can see a place as well or a word. I see lies. So lies are not something this person enjoys. I think this person just wants a true, honest, loving relationship. They want to be happy with you. So they're not accepting these type of things. They would rather know what's going on truly than just... Oh, I see loss. So Los Angeles could be a place. Los Angeles. Mm -mm -mm. A job. So you can be working together. A lasting. So lasting relationship. This um I don't I'm not sure if this is the same word in English, but in French we have the the Olympic games that will be happening and we call it Gio so J O <laughs> then I'm not sure if that's the same but if that's the same this could be a message that around that time so that's around summer season this could be when things are happening perhaps team I don't know maybe they are sporty person too so let's see with the dice more hits Oh my, I just, I'm just mind blown because it is connected to what we saw on the cards. We have again, the ring. Can you see that? So they will become your future spouse, that's for sure. And I see magic in that connection with you. We have the wand and they might be manifesting you actually. Or maybe you are manifesting them while scripting. But this could be about YouTube messaging each other talking to each other, sending 
text or even letters, I don't know. With the emperor, I see that you're attracting someone of value who is a leader, who is actually the father. Actually, for me, the emperor is the father figure. That's the one who is the money maker, the one who takes care about the family. And we saw all these things on the card. So this is perfectly fitting. As for this lion, this, this could be a sign that they are a Leo or maybe Leo season could be the sign or they are just someone who is very strong, courageous, communicative, creative, full of excitement and passion. I see someone who is wanting to be building with you in the future, so having a house possibly and all that they wish is to be with you. And I feel like they have three big wishes in their life. Or maybe this is about you. Like, what do you wish to find in your person? This is what you're manifesting. That's the magic, the wand <laughs> that you hold in your hand. And so you can see that result. So let's see. With stick Why did I put it back? I don't know. I guess it was meant to be. <laughs> but let's see. More hints with the stickers. And if you guys want a reading with me, everything is going to be linked down below. And if you guys want to support as well, if you like this reading, you can also gift with the super thanks, which is going to be activated on this video. And like I said in the beginning of this reading, the big gifters, the most generous one, is going to be pinned in the comment down below. So we have the flower shop and we have another flower and we have another flower here. So flowers could be a sign that, you know, for example, if they buy you a certain flower, this could be a hidden coded message because they have symbols. So we have confession and we can see that with the, the Knight of Cups flower shop. I see a romantic person, to be honest. And this person can come after a heartbreak. You guys can love to go on a ride together, possibly in nature. You could be meeting at a party. I think of you. Let's go. <laughs> or maybe that's just a sign they are stepping forward. Like, let's go. Let's be together. They think about you all the time. There could be this playfulness between the two of you. This person could be an artist or a creative person. A good chef, a good cook. Car wash. So maybe cars are associated to this person. Up in the clouds on my way to unknown things. You can be traveling a lot or perhaps you are from the distance and will be in the future traveling to each other. They could be, okay, they could be a nerdy person as well. This is what I'm getting with this one. So claim this beautiful energy down below in the comments. Oh, wait a second. Oh, and we talked about sports and you can see um, this this person on the floor just following the the ball <laughs> so i'm not sure but they could love some type of sport maybe watching sports with you so claim it and make sure to join the beautiful family and subscribe down below i will see you guys on my next reading check my readings on this channel and take good care of you bye bye so part number two, let's see what can you expect in the next two months love related. So we have a meeting, first of all a meeting and somebody targeting you. I see someone who has their eyes on you and they're testing the water with you because if you look at this scene, she has one rose, right? She was offered one rose, but he has more to offer. But in the beginning, this person can be a bit, you know, shy to give it all to you because they want to see your response. Okay, is this person interested? Is this person wanting to be with me? And can I give more to her or to him? And because of this, I see that somebody could be flirting with you these days. But only when the time will be right, because you can see the clock, they'll be making that big jump, that big move towards you. So I see confession, I see someone seducing you, flirting with you, making things a bit obvious, <laughs> to be honest, because they do want to have a loving relationship with you. If this is someone from the distance, this could be showing up as well with, you know, the two lovebirds finally being with each other because she was traveling to him or he was traveling to her. I'm not sure. I think he is the one who was in the train because you can see uh, the bag and all these tools and he is wearing that... I'm not sure you call it in can in French, but anyways, so I see that as support as well, as a sign of support, you know, because you walk with it. 
before it was more of a style but here i'm saying that this could be a, a symbol for someone who will support you and willing to be building with you we have wands for these two cards so this could be a very fiery passionate and exciting adventure and connection with this person it could be a fire sign of course or maybe this talks about the season which is spring. So you can be meeting or traveling to each other around spring season. And if you feel like taking the train, the bus, your car, maybe the airplane to visit somebody that you find special and that you know is attracted towards you, this is going to be the next step in that relationship, okay? So make that jump, make that move, because that's the way to unlock this beautiful loving relationship and to then be physically together and start seducing each other face to face. So what I see is future encounter, future date, somebody testing the water with you because they care and they love to be around you. But I see someone who is ready to be with you, who is re ready to make that move because they want to build something with you. Number seven talks about luck and number five talks about creation. So you might feel lucky to have this person in your life and you might feel excited to start creating some love story with them. So let's see with the couple cards. I adore you. So that's a message for you. <laughs> when you could see that, I will surprise you soon. So yes, indeed, this person is stepping forward at divine timing. But now is the perfect time for you guys to be together. And you might feel like it. I just want to date. I want to find my lover. I'm tired of waiting. So you're manifesting that relationship and that connection to speed up. And they will show you, I adore you. I like you. And I will surprise you soon. Just wait for me. I am coming. I'm not wanting you to wait any longer. I want us to be reunited or to be meeting each other if you are starting something from the distance. So let's continue with the couple cards. Let's see what can we expect for you. We have a picnic. So this could be, and I told you, future dates. So this could be one of the dates you guys will have together. Going on a picnic and passionate. It talked about it, you know, remember? I told you this is going to be a fiery relationship, exciting relationship. And passion to me is totally what this is about. You can see they just enjoy each other's company. They're laughing a lot. They're having fun together in this moment of intimacy. So expect indeed a lot of passion with them and feeling deeply connected to, to your person. And we have a picnic okay and you know beautiful days are coming if this is spring for you guys <laughs> depends who is watching but yes so perhaps this good and hot weather or these hotter days might be inspiring you to go on dates outside and to prepare something together but picnics are a good idea so if you want to be the one planning for future dates you can possibly send a subliminal message if they're in charge of it <laughs> and, or you can just prepare something for your lover so let's continue and see so what can we expect maybe some messages for you guys you are enough to me this is beautiful to see my heart is in pieces. I think that's the separation. If you guys are starting a long distance relationship, I'm saying if, because this is not going to be everybody's choice. Because remember, all that's presented to you is whether you accept it or you do not. And so maybe some circumstances can be completely different. I mean, that's a general reading for everybody here watching. So take what resonates with you. And you do not need to worry anymore. So if there is separation or something going on, they will always be there for you, hugging you or just reassuring yourself. I see that they do have this healing, positive and protective energy. Like they just want you to feel like you are enough and everything is going to be okay. And they will make sure that you have nothing to worry anymore because they will find solution with everything that's happening and everything that you're feeling. So these are the cards and messages for this deck. So let's continue and pick 
the other deck. So let's pick the Oracle cards and let's see what's the energy. What can you expect next? Oh, so maybe you guys indeed feel a lot. If not about you, it could be about them too. Okay, so take what resonate. But my heart is in pieces. I feel empty. I feel like I'm not good enough. Possibly this is what you think about. Or you're always worrying about what's next or what is not really satisfying for you. But, you know, I just see and we can see traveling here. So if this is about the distance, it's okay. You'll find ways to travel to each other. You'll find ways to be together physically. So just be patient. I feel like you guys will solve things out. Nothing is impossible. Nothing, really. If you guys are so in love, you'll find always solutions. So emptiness, collecting stars. And collecting stars to me... It's really about collecting wishes. So what do you want in that relationship? Instead of focusing on the emptiness or the issues and problems or whatever is not working, focus on what you can build, what you can collect, what you can feel, what you can experience together. And when you redirect your attention on the positive, that's when you give less power to it and then you find solutions. So through the darkness, you can see the light, just like a star. Okay? So these... Where are the messages for the oracle cards? Let's see now messages they want to say to you. Promise me you'll stay with me forever. It could be you or it could be this person telling you that. And thank you for loving me for me. There's so much appreciation for who you are. You could see you're enough. Thank you for loving me for me. And are you feeling better? And honestly, you have a supporter, <laughs> you know, you have somebody who wants you to be happy, who wants the two of you to enjoy that relationship and to feel safe in this one. So make sure to feel this way. Don't question things too much. If that's the feeling, of course. But I think it's here for a reason. That's to reassure you, to tell you it's going to be okay. <laughs> Just trust the person and trust yourself. So let's continue with the other tactics. So we add fire signs. Let's see what the great, so rather the zodiac sign of your person, or this could be the season when being together. So we have Taurus, Gemini, Pisces, Aquarius, and Scorpio. We can see more of them with the letters and words, which I'm going to pick now. So let's see. And you can see, for example, their name, a place that's significant. Maybe a word that speaks to you. The good through fellow sun. And they can have the solar energy. And you can see that solar. <laughs> and let's see. I see the sea. So maybe they live near the sea. I see male, so they can have a strong masculine essence. We have sun, maybe having kids together in the future. <laughs> it could be the message. We have seal. I see all the things to moan. <laughs> then we could see passionate, so I guess that's connected to that moment of intimacy. Oh, we have Sean as a name showing up. But perhaps you can see something personal. Man. That's, oh, Saul means sun again. So, sun two times is showing up. Uh, I heard late. Hola means hi. Me. That's so far what I can see, but to play with them. So, let's continue with the dice. All right, so there could be maybe a mom figure or some type of women, which could get in the way. Because we have this, you know, the queen in, um, what is it called? Alice in Wonderland. You know, she's not the best queen ever. <laughs> so maybe that's the type of person you could have to deal with. We have the cauldron. So I see this as someone who is very good with magic and you can see that with the wand as well with magic or this could be actually food so they could be a good cook 
and with the one they are trying to manifest something with you they see you as a traitor and they want indeed to be building in the future with you and possibly live in the same house quickly this is why i see someone who's reassuring you because you might live together very quickly i see spirits or angels being around you fairies as well possibly to help you guys to build something together but yes there is someone who is possibly jealous or just envious or just a bit bitter about what's going on between the two of you but don't let this get in the way okay or well, this could just be your intr intrusive thoughts or just that negative mindset sometimes about people or just you project wounds or just fears onto what's going on but it's not even real so make sure to take what's there and not live in fantasy land or maybe in fear land because that can be more of that energy so let's pick the stickers and if you guys want to get why is this one here <laughs> if you guys want to get a reading with me everything is going to be linked down below and when you guys give a super thank on this video i'm going to pin the highest gift and thank everybody who is gifting as well if you want to support and I told you, angels, <laughs> angels and guides, if we were around you, okay, the card felt it's okay, it's okay, so we are made of stardust and dreams, look, we had the picnic card, remember, and we have again, again a picnic, <laughs> so it could be something you guys enjoy to do together, and with that, and we saw the stars too, collecting stars. So you guys can be star seeds, or this is just connected to your destiny to be together. This person can enjoy decor or design. And I see someone who is indeed making a move towards you. I see this as like going on a date and buying some food together. They could love actually to get things for their house, especially to get to get things tidy and clean. Or they could be someone, if you visit their place, it's tidy, clean, and everything is organized. <laughs> and yes, so your guides and spirits are going to guide you towards some someone. We have goodbye. And, you know, we saw long distance. We saw traveling to each other, some separation. So there could be indeed these type of things on top of the roof. And I see this as someone who is successful. And I see, yes, yeah, someone who is going to heal you and provide to you and reassure you. And here we are. And I told you about Alice in Wonderland and good morning. So this could be a message they send you in the morning. Good morning. Good, you know, have a good day. I just see someone who is wanting to, you know, provide and to be present for you. So that's the reading, guys. Claim it down below in the comments. Subscribe if you new, of course. Check my other readings on the channel. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye-bye. Group number three. Let's see what can you expect with your love life two months from now. And what is about to enter. So, first of all, we have the ten of wands. And then we have the eight of cups. So, what I see is that you first or running away from someone that possibly have been in a third party situation or they just had options and you felt like this is not someone I see myself investing love into or just being with somebody like this. So you are closing a chapter that is now leading towards someone who is ready to be with you. And that's good because actually the 10 of wands can be about burden, it could be about pressure, it could be about you bringing the past with you. So if that's the case, this is telling you to move on from the past and no longer look back because there's nothing to build out there. This person was not fitting for you or this was not meant to be. So this is redirecting yourself towards someone who is showing up, who is present for you. And they're wanting to climb up to the top with you. Can you see that with the steps behind them? And that's the, the metro in... Paris so maybe that's significant too but I see you guys building something trusting each other reintroducing trust in your life with people that you meet around and you are offering yourself to your person or they are offering something to you because you can see this gentleman gifting this um how's it called a mischief 
is it how is it um i don't remember but that's a sign for like i'm the provider i can give to you i will support you if you're crying i offer you this one that's like emotional support <laughs> okay and perhaps this is because you guys will talk about the past and things that did hurt your feelings and it's like okay but this is all in the past we can now build something different and we will not make these mistakes anymore or we'll not be fooled enough to welcome people who treat us with so much or less let's say so less respect because we deserve better and now you're only welcoming people who will align with your values and that's a good thing because all this was showing you that's what i do not like that's what i do not want in my life so now that i have this clear picture of what i desire instead that's when i meet the one that i'm waiting at the gate and so I can be building with them. So with the numbers, number eight talks about strength and infinity. I'm saying strength because number eight in tarot is Leo or aka the strength card. You can be attracting a Leo, you can be attracting a water sign or a fire sign. For the seasons, we have spring and summer. So it could be, but here we have winter showing up. So this could be a significant season. But what I see for you guys is that you're letting go of the past. It's like you let go and you can see actually the trees letting go of the leaves. So you let go of this person, let it melt. And then you're opening yourself up to a new beginning with someone who is ready to be building with you. So number 10 talks about completion. So you're finding someone who completes you, who complements you and not someone who is just out of you know, just too different or just someone who is going to challenge you a lot because they might ask you to change for them. No, you guys are now perfect for each other. You fit each other perfectly. This is why this reading is also asking you to be selective and to choose wisely who you see a future with and what type of person is best for you to date. So for the love cards, don't be shy. You know I want to and I will bring you healing. And we saw this, you know, we saw someone who is going to be understanding of the past and caring of it and they'll bring you healing and reassurance. So I'll bring you healing and don't be shy. You know I want to. And this is going to be this is going to be clear. Even here you could see this gentleman making that move like oh, I can be providing to you. I can be the one for you. So they're not playing games. If they're talking to you, this is for the two of you to start dating. So let's see more couple cards. Ooh, okay, so divine path. That means you guys might be destined to be. There is a path for the two of you to actually step forward into. And perhaps this talked about it. You're guided towards someone specific and they bring you healing because they're meant to be the next love chapter for you they're meant to be someone who is holding your hand and reassuring you every step of the way towards a happy future and you can see that with the bright sun at the distance you guys are running together towards a new love towards something that is going to be a lot more exciting for the two of you and you know this person was divinely guided towards me and I'm ready for this divine connection or this part of my destiny because it feels warm, it feels healing, it feels good, it feels exciting. And if you feel that, don't question it, just step forward because that's a divine path, that's a divine relationship and you are guided towards it for a reason. And here we have romantic okay so you're attracting someone who is gonna be seducing you and in romantic ways they can you know message you write you poems they could be buying you flowers taking you to beautiful romantic places um like if for example you love a place or you always wanted to visit a certain place or even a certain country they will make sure that this is part of the plan for the future with future trips or going to that place or doing that type of activity if that's one activity but they will pay attention to these things so they could be providing to you so romantic and divine path are the two guides for these but that's beautiful you can see that someone is ready to give their love to you and they want something that 
you know, is part of true love, true romance. And possibly they have this old, um, I mean old, this style of dating that's very loyal. Like that's loyal, that's fun, that's putting effort into you see what I mean it's like they're not going to just tell you let's go for a drink <laughs> because that's low effort this person like they will just put on some candles they'll build an atmosphere or if they go to a place with you they'll make sure that this is the best place ever to make you fall in love with them like they want to build very like very strong memories with you like magical memories with you I know you're obsessed with me. Like, what's going on? I mean, don't be shy. You know I want you. I know you're obsessed with me too. And you can see he's actually pulling that um, strap. Yes, so you know what's happening. And you could see there is indeed some tension in the air <laughs> between the two of you. So if you feel this way towards somebody, this could be the one. And you make me feel understood and we can see a drink at a bar but this is not a bar that's like you know it like the way they're dressed it shows that's a place where it's actually fancy and so if you guys go for a drink it will still be a place that's quite special you know they will not take you out on a like a like small cafe place unless it's like a moody type of place so you make me feel understood and I know you are obsessed with me. <laughs> so that seductive game started and or if this is not there yet, you'll find and meet somebody who is going to make things quite clear. They want to and they actually crave for you. And you could see they are craving for you, but not just for a flirt. They see a divine path with you. They see a future with you and they want to be the one who is healing you. Let's see Oracle cards and get more hints about your future. The Muse, so they feel inspired by you. They feel inspired. They see you as someone that is the best for them. The weight. Okay, so if you've been waiting and if you've been asking yourself, why is this taking ages? Why am I single for years or weeks or months? Whatever is too long for you. This is the waiting that needs to occur for you to heal and for you to be prepared for this relationship. So this way, you will not be too attached. And with this, you know, um, this... I'm not finding my words. Well, this, this reading is crazy. So when you're detached, you can be then open for this new adventure together, for this new path. But there could be some waiting. But this is worth waiting for the, this person because you will see a future with them. And you'll see this is someone who inspires me back too. As much as you inspire them. Let's see what message they want to say to you. Wait, I'm missing one. Again, you know, I'll bring you healing and I came here to save you. They understand that's my mission, that's my job, that's my work. To be the saver, to be the conqueror, to be the one who is going to make this person feel better and understood. Because I feel like you are, or maybe they are, trapped. And they feel like I'm drowning, but I can be saved. I can be with someone who understands me and not judge me for what I did experience, but instead tell you, you're going to be okay. You're stronger than this. So I came here to save you. Let's see these two more messages. You are everything I ever wanted and I'll be here in your ups and downs. Again, <laughs> again, very connected. I'm sure you want someone with understanding. I'm sure you want and you crave for somebody who is just going to sit with you and listen to you and reassure you. So I'll be here in your ups and downs and you are everything I ever wanted. And they make you feel this way. They make you feel special. You are worthy. You are enough. And you are desired. You're wanted. You're special to them. And if you did not feel that before, this could be 
these healing words you needed to receive in order for you to detach from possibly some type of you know point of view that is no longer valid because that ex did not appreciate you or possibly went to see other girls or other guys because they were just not fully connected to you but it does not mean everybody is the same so let's see their zodiac sign so we have many <laughs> so i see leo virgo libra scorpio capricorn aquarius pisces and aries too so that's the signs let's see now letters and words so we can see perhaps a place a name something appearing to you that's specific so we have aquarius again ko <laughs> or okay let's see music peace may could be the month she no peace good and us or us maybe usa i see la what else can we see there i had korea they can be korean can you see the letters mm -hmm. i heard luck maybe you lack something but then you're going to find it with your person they'll bring you peace that's for sure uh what else what else what else i heard kind so being kind to each other nia leah could be names on oh look at this we have online kind of showing up so you can be meeting online with the person mm, that's pretty much what i can see but play with them because something can appear to you that i did not catch so with the dice let's see. yes i feel like a lot of you guys feel like i don't have enough I am not enough but that's that's the lie you tell yourself because you were told that lie over and over again by people who could not resonate with you so because they cannot resonate with you they do not see your value so it doesn't mean you're not valuable it just means you're not around the right people okay or you were not dating the right people so it's time to move on like a broom you just sweep away these things or these people so then you can see your true value. So then you can see who you truly are. So clean the space. Somebody special is coming for you. They will indeed bring you peace. And you, you could see that with the word. So peace, love and freedom for the dove. And I see, yes, there could be that ex, that mom, um, that you'd get in a way. But I see a change of life. So from a house, maybe going to a castle together. There is a happy future for the two of you. You can see that with the sun. And I see your guides, fairies, angels, garden angels, just bringing you towards someone who is meant to be with you. So find peace in your heart. That's when you're going to feel guided towards this happy person. And this is when your life will shift and change because you'll see, okay, I can get somebody who is better and I can get a better future with someone I choose wisely. So let's get some kids with the stickers. And if you guys want to get a reading with me, everything is going to be linked down below. And when you guys gift with a super thanks down below, I'm going to actually pin the best gifters and thank everybody who is gifting too, if you want to support. So let's see. With the stickers. Ooh, okay, so there is indeed seduction, as you can tell, some spice happening. Again, I think of LA and we could see that. So palm trees or maybe a place that actually have this type of mood. Self-love potion. Yes, this is all that you need right now in order for you to be open for this love and to use without moderation indeed. So love yourself on top of the roof. What I see with this one is you're attracting someone who is on top of their game, someone who is successful and... I see someone who is wanting to provide, like, I'm here to give to you. I'm here to, yes, 
bring something that you possibly lack in other relationships. So that is your rating, guys. Make sure to claim this energy down below in the comments. Subscribe if you're new, of course. Join the family. You can also check my other readings appearing on the screen or on my channel. And I will see you guys on my next one. Bye-bye.